In this tutorial, we will learn how to measure the branch numbers and the branch length of neurons. To begin with, import the image to image J by drag and drop method. The first step is to convert the image into an 8-bit image. Next, adjust the threshold by clicking on Image, Adjust, and Threshold. Check on the dark background and change the color to red. Use the slider above and adjust until all the branches of the neurons are red in color. Sometimes the branches are disconnected or broken in between and may distort the analysis. In such a situation, use the slider and try to fill the gap between the branches as much as you can. Now, these branches are connected to one another. Sometimes, the gaps may not be connected even after adjusting the slider. You can also manually fill the gap by drawing a line to join the broken ends. Using the color picker, Click on the red colored branch and select the paint brush tool from above. Use the brush tool to draw a line connecting the branches. Let us leave this particular neuron branch disconnected to see the outcome later. Next, click on apply and close the dialog box. Convert the image into binary by clicking Process, Binary, and Make Binary. Check on the threshold pixel to foreground color, remaining pixel to background color, and black foreground, white background, and then click OK. The image is changed into black color in a white background. The next step is to skeletonize the image. Click on Process, binary and skeletonize. This process converts the binary image into vectors with discrete lines with a known start and finish position. For instance, if the neuron branch starts here, skeletonization would discreetly consider a finish position, for instance, at this point. Next, click on Analyze, Skeleton, and analyze skeleton. Keep the prune cycle method to none and uncheck the prune ends and exclude ROI from pruning. However, check on the following options and then click OK. A bunch of information is displayed at this point. Let us analyze them separately. This image from the result displays the longest shortest path in this case, the longest path is displayed containing the skeleton in white and the shortest path in magenta. The tag skeleton window shows the skeletonized branching in three different colors. Here, the branches are labeled in orange, junctions in magenta, and endpoints in blue color. These branches are referred to as voxels and point voxels are displayed in blue, slab voxels in orange, and junction voxels in magenta. And point voxels, which are indicated in blue, are the ones that have less than two neighbors. Junction voxels in magenta are the ones that have more than two neighbors. Slab voxels in orange are the ones that have exactly two neighbors. Earlier, we talked about the consequence of not connecting the branches in this part of the neuron. Since the gap was left disconnected, the branching information is lost for this part of the branch. Therefore, it is best to connect all the branch points as much as possible. Now, let us discuss more about the results. The first result window displays information that provides you 
the general information about its complete skeleton in the image. For instance, how bronze it is and how many double or triple junctions are there. In the first row, it shows the number of branches as 142, the number of junctions as 74, and point voxels as 54, junction voxels as 236, 4837 slab voxels. It also displays the average branch length. Further, it also displays how many triple points and quadruple points are found in the branch. In the next column, it displays the maximum branch length and the longest shortest path. In the other result window, it displays other information about each branch in the skeleton. For instance, the branch length versus Euclidean distance will give you information about tortuosity. You could also bin number of branches of each type depending on the branch length. The result window displays a skeleton ID for each branch and provide the branch length that are arranged by decreasing length of the branches. V1 and V2 vertices shows the 3D coordinates of the extremes of the branch. In the next column, it also shows the Euclidean distance between those extreme points. This value has proven to be a good indicator of the tortuosity of the 3D object. In addition, the result also display the running average length and the average intensity. Thus, we successfully analyzed the branching information of the neurons. This part of the tutorial shows you how to install the Analyze Skeleton plugin to analyze the neuron branches. Head on to the website as shown in the screen, click to download and save it. Next, open the ImageJ software and click on plugins and install the downloaded file and click save. Now, restart the ImageJ software and the skeleton plugin should appear. Thanks for watching the video. Do stay tuned for more such videos by subscribing to this channel.